Now to Miami in Florida, the home of fishing for a test of the Everglades 230 dual console. The seven meter hull is sporty and versatile at the same time. And it's the smallest model in this range which competes in North America against the Boston Whaler. This made in USA walk around has either a powerful 300 horsepower outboard motor or like this one, a 250 horsepower four stroke Honda. The maximum speed is 41 or 26 knots, depending which you choose. Light and lively, this boat is well built to withstand waves, sudden changes of speed, or the vagaries of the weather. Back in the port, we appreciate the five star finish quality. Solidly and intelligently built and conceived, you can see why this make is so well entrenched in the North American fishing scene. On board, the cockpit is deep and opens at the captain's position with a fold-out windshield. There's plenty of storage space here. And at the back, the motor is easily accessible. In the middle of the 230DC, there's space for water skis or other material. The captain's position has been designed to offer a position seated behind the windshield and opposite the electronic controls. The one defect is the gas throttle is too close and impractical. Finally, for fishing, the central roll bars are optional and hold the rods. The roll bars are also there in case you fancy doing some wakeboarding. If the concept of a walk-around fishing stroke sport boat hasn't caught on in Europe, you've just got to recognise the off-the-scale qualities of this Everglades in the water. On board, there are spots for the rods and lots of storage space. In terms of budget, this 230 dual console checks in at around 60,000 euros without the motor.